I'm Nick Isola. Patrick Gulford. I'm Jack Miller. And today we're going to be demonstrating the Magnus effect through this throwing device and through golf. Yeah. So as you can see in Patrick's throw, the ball landed higher on the backstop than his uh, point of release. And this is due to the Magnus effect. The, magne the Magnus effect in the, the dictionary states, the force on a spinning sphere or cylinder moving through the air in, di in direction at an angle to the axis of spin. This force is responsible for the swerving of a ball when it is hit or thrown. The way we see the Magnus effect is through golf. For example, when we're golfing and we're at the bottom of a hill, we want to hit the golf ball over that big slope so it can land and have that spin from the Magnus effect and land right by the pin and not keep going if we were using a club such as a driver. So now we're going to demonstrate using an iron how the Magnus effect works for making backspin. Sum up the Magnus effect on the ball. The ball is moving counterclockwise, going down like this, but the air causing it is making the ball move to the left. And there's also an air below it, which makes it move to the left. And the air above it causes a downwards, um, causes it to go downwards. And because of Newton's third law, which states that every force in action has an equal and opposite reaction, there is um, a force coming upwards, which creates the upwards movement of the ball. Okay, now here's a diagram showing what the ball is doing. So the ball is moving this way. There's a, air, a greater air moving this way as there's a little air moving this way which allows the ball to go counterclockwise. There's a force acted upon going down and there's an equal or opposite force going up which allows the ball to have the Magnus effect.